Hi YouTube, how are you doing? And welcome back to Dead Signal. This game is insane. If you know the Welcome to the Game series, you know how hard these games can be. And this game is no difference. It is also very difficult. Casual mode is very doable, but normal mode is where it starts to get crazy. You have permadeath, so if you die any point during the night, you have to start all over from the very beginning. And there is a brand new enemy. No Mr. Del Falco, which doesn't show up in casual mode at all. Now this enemy has actually some special secrets that no one has found yet when the developer came into our stream a while ago when we were playing this game uh, he told us that there is a way to avoid this enemy altogether now we don't know how this is done i've looked online and it seems like no one has figured it out yet so in this video we're gonna try and figure that out it might not work we have some strategies or some theories that we're gonna try out and we'll see if it works but anyway it's gonna be fun playing normal mode again i hope you enjoy if you're not subscribed please do so if you like the video like it if you dislike it dislike it but let's not waste any more time let's hop into the game let's go here we go Okay, so we have had a few theories. One theory um, we already tried, which did not work. The first theory we had uh, was don't look at him for... Uh, long at all like as soon as you see Del Falco try and leave the camera system immediately stay away do not look at him anymore but that did not work because we looked at him for only a 0.1 seconds or something and he still came in to kill us later so that was definitely not the strategy there's my flashlight I was looking for that now before we start talking about our other strategies first of all welcome to that signal if it's your first time I absolutely love this game it is like welcome to the game we're not gonna do the tutorial because I'm gonna be explaining it we're it's like welcome to the game but instead of looking at fucked up websites and and looking for keys in this one you're looking at cameras like an observation duty game and you're spotting anomalies and you need to get a certain amount of anomalies in this hour for example between uh, 10 p.m and 11 p.m we're gonna have to spot at least two things hopefully more uh, otherwise we will game over uh, now obviously it's a welcome to the game game so besides this simple mechanic here where we have to look at the stuff there's also gonna be all kinds of crazy serial killers that are gonna try and end our life uh, one of the things we need to do is keep track of this code every time this code changes that's, is that door already open? No. Uh, every time this code changes, we're going to have to get up and change the door code. Otherwise, the door is going to be unlocked for some killer to walk in. Now, we're working for the shade right here. This is our friend. Um, so, yeah, we're basically just looking around. There's uh, six different things we can report. There's access point, which is like an open door. There's hack. Let me move to the side real quick. There is hacks, which is stuff that you can hack. So laptop, phones, tablets, etc. High value if there's something to steal, like packages, wallets, etc. Defense if there is like things that can fight back, such as a gun or dogs. Peep is people that you can spy on. And suspicious is everything else. Uh, sketchy items, people, body parts, blood, corpses. Uh, etc. So yeah, those are the categories we're looking out for. Now, so, Del Falco is an enemy. I don't have to worry about anything right now, by the way, because uh, the enemies don't show up until later in the game, until they're explained to you in the tutorial. I am, however, going to turn off these lights because it will make Lucas spawn less. If you turn off some lights, I'm going to close this. I don't know if there's actually going to be Noir spawning in those rooms, but Noir apparently can spawn in multiple points in the um in the apartment now so we want to try and spot as many things early as possible while i explain this stuff um so the first theory we had was don't look at him for long that did not work we didn't look at him for like longer than a second or less than a second even and he still came in to kill us the second theory which i think might be the most plausible but is also the hardest to do is do not look at him at all just avoid looking at him but that's impossible because you don't know like, before you go to a camera, you don't know if Mr. Del Falco is going to be there. So I was like, what if you know in which ranges he can spawn? So I looked at all my old or all my other videos on normal mode, and it turns out he can spawn in a massive range. He can spawn anywhere between 11 p.m. and 1 p.m. So that is a massive range. That would mean you have to not look at the computer for two hours straight, which is basically impossible because you still need to get these reports so you can get your quota points. So that is going to be, oh, there is uh, an arm right there. But I'm not going to report that because this is my hopeful theory, my, my second theory, which is that... Um so based on the lore of this character, the Mr. Del Falco character is a professional cleaner. What does that mean? He cleans up dead bodies. And in the text, when you see him for the first time, it explains to you he doesn't like it when people find evidence of his work because he works in the shadow. So what we were thinking is that if we... Um, oh, this is Adam, by the way. If we never report anything related to dead bodies or, or like 
uh, body parts like this or corpses, maybe we're just not interfering with his work and he's gonna leave us alone. If we leave him alone, he's gonna leave us alone. At least that's my hope. So we're gonna leave anything that looks like a dead body or corpse, we're gonna leave all of that behind. Um, which is gonna mean that the rest of the game will be much, much harder. I don't know. I think we'll be able to report blood, I feel. Like, blood is not a dead body, necessarily, but I'm not entirely sure about that. Uh, shit, this is not good. Yeah, we're, we're having to deal with Adam and his bullshit. Um, but I think that's a pretty solid theory. Um, because it's almost impossible to just not look at the cameras for like two hours straight. I don't think we can do that in any feasible way. So yeah, we need to try and collect as much information as possible, as many reports as possible, um, because we're gonna miss out on a whole category. That's a hack right there. We're gonna miss out on a whole category of things that we can report. So we're gonna have to work way harder because last time we barely made it to the end. Uh, we, we barely survived. So, uh, like when we beat Nightmare Mode on the new update. So, that means it's gonna be even harder now. But, on the other hand, if it works, it means we don't have to deal with Del Falco, which will really help us out. Because that means, uh, we're gonna be dealing with one enemy less, right? Which is really, really cool. Uh, if it actually works. But no one has figured it out yet, so we're gonna hopefully be the first one to figure it out. Uh, so Clint is the guy that you play as in Welcome to the Game 2, by the way. I love that they're building this, like, overarching universe here where uh, the characters from the other games are coming back in this game. So Clint is giving us some information about the killers, which are similar killers, but they work differently in this game. So the, the body has been cleaned up, maybe by Mr. Del Falco, who knows? We're just gonna ignore it and pretend that we didn't see anything to not interfere with uh, Mr. Del Falco's work. There's another laptop. I guess we're gonna hack that one too. Uh, so yeah. We have uh, Lucas, which Lucas and Noir are going to be attacking us. Uh, they both work slightly different or very different, especially Lucas works very different from uh, Welcome to the Game 2, where he will now have a rifle. He will have a sniper rifle and he tries to shoot you from a distance. Um, he will be pointing his laser through the window here and you'll have to hide underneath the, the bed in order to avoid getting shot. <laughs> uh, if that's your theory, I don't think you should report blood. Can we really win the game if we don't report? I mean, I guess if we can just figure out what, like, avoids spawning Del Taco, that would be, like, uh, a successful uh, science uh, lesson for this game, I guess. But if you can't report blood, body parts, and corpses, I don't think you can beat this game because that is a lot of fucking reports you're missing out on. I don't know if this is a hack because this is the exact same thing that shows up on those laptops, but I'm pretty sure this is always here. Now, as you're seeing, we're not playing Nightmare Mode right now. That's because Nightmare Mode doesn't exist yet. Oh, there's a package right there. That's high value. Um, I was looking at the developer stream. He is working on Nightmare Mode right now. Uh, and Nightmare Mode is gonna be absolutely fucked up. You cannot make a, you cannot miss a single package. And on top of that, you cannot miss a single report. Not, not like you can't miss it, but if you report anything wrong, you will instantly game over. So right there where I made a wrong report and the guy said, what the fuck is this? Try harder. That would have immediately game over us. So yeah, no mistakes whatsoever, which is very freaking hard. Um, and on top of that, there's going to be the nights are or all the hours are going to be longer. The enemies are going to spawn more frequently. So it's going to be an absolute nightmare. Is Clint already done explaining his mechanics? He is done explaining his mechanics, which means now the killers can start showing up, uh, which I hope to have a little bit longer, honestly, uh, which is a bit of a shame. So we're going to be looking around, trying to get as many rollover reports as possible. So the way this works is that if you go over the two, so we're already over the two, right? We're already at three. If you report more, you will uh, you will keep those for the next hour, which is basically the only way you can beat the later hours because there's so many killers that are going to start showing up and attacking us that if you don't have a bunch of rollover points, you're just going to perish. You're not going to make it, which uh, is very scary. Now, people keep telling me in the YouTube comments, why are you not reporting hack for these flashing lights? This is just like, the, this is just normal. This is how it always looks like. This is not hack. So don't at me in the comments like, dude, it would have been so, e I had so many people comments because I was complaining about how hard the game was. Uh, and there were so many people adding me, dude, if you just a single time reported the 700 hacks we saw in the server room, it would have been so easy, you dumbass. And I'm like, my brother in Christ, that's not at all how the game worked, but all right. <laughs> 
<laughs> so yeah, no, that is not a report. Just, uh, just getting ahead of that one so we don't get flamed in the comments again. Okay, um, we're chilling. That's to credit cards right there. We've only seen high value. We're doing a great job, though. That's our... Oh, we're going to code changed. 03747. So now the code is, uh, is that one until it changes again. Uh, 03747. Boom. Nice. We need to remember that. Otherwise, uh, we will get shot by Lucas. Okay. So that's a nice report. Good job. We got four already. I think avoiding that body. I think this actually might work. Because I feel like that's a pretty cool challenge, honestly. It's like pick your poison. Do oh, we got a package. How long do we have? 45 minutes to 5C. 5C 45 minutes. Can we can we write that down? Write that down. Um So it's it's like pick your poison. Do you wanna have to deal with an extra enemy? Or do you wanna have an easier time getting enough quota points? Uh and you can just choose whatever one you want to pick uh so there's also there's blood here do we report blood i guess we just leave all of the body things alone we don't even report blood that is gonna be hard as fuck but i guess we'll just leave it just to see if it works like we can always try reporting blood and narrowing it down i think we'll leave the blood as well so we leave blood we leave body parts and we leave full corpses obviously if that doesn't freaking work i don't know what the hell uh, why is he not reporting me when I explain everything and then get a comment asking why I'm doing what I'm doing that I just explained? Fucking not like this. <laughs> I just explained, but I I don't know. Should I explain it again? <laughs> okay, so we need to report the, or we need to deliver this package and we, we want to try and miss as little packages as possible. That's red paint. I'm not falling for it, Mr. Del Falco. You're trying to, you're trying to get angry. Just looking for a victim. So there's an arm right- Dude, we're getting so fucking unlucky with these reports. We're getting so many body part reports that I would love to report. We literally missed out on four different reports here. Or three different reports. If we could just fucking report these things. But I'm, I'm gonna have to hold off on that. No blood. No body parts. <laughs> God damn it. Okay. Um. So sometimes I have to stand up. Just look around a little bit. Seeing if there's any killers. Now I'm- I- I think they can spawn in the bedroom and the bathroom as well, but I'm not going to check that. If we die by that, it's going to be additional science, right? Uh, we need to deliver this package in like 40 more minutes, so we're totally fine. I want to at least report one more thing before we even think about going for this package. Now, preferably, so there's several things that can send you up to the roof. Uh, one of them is grabbing a package and delivering it. The other thing is when your computer, like your network fault goes out, the, the, your signal goes dead, the name of the game, dead signal, then you have to, um, you have to go to the roof and change the satellite dish to get your signal back. Fucking shit's still here. And I want to kind of have those things happen at the same time if possible, so we can like multitask really efficiently but because what's really annoying is if you just come back from delivering a package and then you see that there is a freaking uh network outage so you have to go back up again to fix the network and then you're just like sitting in the slowest elevator of all time over and over again which is very annoying which by the way the developer is planning to add a mechanic which sounds absolutely fucked up like come on adam so he's adding an emergency brake switch or something that speeds up the elevator but every time you use the elevator, there is a, this is a hack, by the way, back here. That's a phone. You can't really see it. But uh, every time you use the elevator, there's a 1% chance it will kill you, which is just fucked up, man. <laughs> like, that's going to mean that you, you have, you can choose to use that or not. So it's just going to be, do you want to roll the dice? Because I think you go up and down the elevator like 20 times during a playthrough. Do you want to have like a 20% chance to just fucking die during this run? Or do you want to uh, like have an insanely slow elevator? And, there, and there's no way to avoid it, he said. So that is very stupid, but I guess it is what it is. I love how there's no stairs in this apartment complex either. I feel like that's a safety violation. I don't think you can do that. All right, we're going to report one more thing. And then I think it's about time for us to go uh, do a visit to the to the rooftop. So we have six reports, but we we got like 10 total because we had to ditch out on a lot of reports, right? 
So yeah. I'm looking around, seeing if there's any noir hanging about. I don't know when Lucas starts spawning. I'm gonna go up. Any noir? No noir. Close that door. Gamble sounds fun. It sounds fricked up. <laughs> it's, like... Also, so as I said, you can't miss a single package. You can't miss a single or do a single wrong report on nightmare mode. Uh, you have to do way more reports. Obviously, extra hours. Goodness gracious, man. But he was also planning a custom mode, which sounds really cool, where you can change all the settings um, based on your liking, which he said part of the custom mode is going to be a, uh, a button to skip the hour if you reach the quota which would and specifically in the thing it says which would make speed running possible so he genuinely uh i guess he doesn't hate speed running as much as i thought he did so he wants to add a potential speed running mode however he also said that this was going to be locked behind beating nightmare mode which if it's going to be anything like scrutinized no one has ever beaten scrutinized nightmare mode besides me so I'm assuming he's going to make this nightmare mode more reasonable if he wants to have a whole freaking uh, game system locked behind it. But I don't know. <laughs> yeah, we're playing normal. We're playing on the highest difficulty. This is the only... There's no nightmare mode. <laughs> it's going to be very interesting to be the only one to be able to do the speed room mode. So yeah, in this elevator, there'll be a lever. You can pull that lever, which will make the elevator way faster but it's also going to give you a 1% to just fucking die every time, which is really stupid. <laughs> I'll be the only one to be able to speed around the screen or this game. I think this game is so fun. I'm so excited for, uh, for the, there could be a noir behind me, by the way, eviction notice or John's chapter. He said it was going to be way longer than welcome to the game Two. have way more mechanics, way more cool stuff. Uh, and he showed some of the cool stuff and it looks really fucking awesome. So I'm excited. I'm excited for that game, although it is probably at least one year away. Uh, he already has a lot of the systems when it comes to the computer in place, and he has the whole house already. So it's not like he's starting from scratch. He actually got a lot of stuff done. Thorlar, I saw you were playing uh, Outlast Trials. I was uh, potentially going to play that soon as well. It looks there's like a new event or something going on, which is very cool. Oh boy. So yeah, welcome Raiders. Good to see you guys. Uh, we're still totally fine. We've reported that we did the package. Let's hope that the signal is not dead. The signal is not dead right now. We have zero, zero, three, boom, boom, right? There we go. He's insane with it. I need you guys to post that in chat though. Otherwise I'm going to lose. I need help. I'm, I'm bad at this game. <laughs> All the trials. It's, it's quite nice. Uh, there's, so we still, we have already reported that wallet. It's gone now. Um, so for those people who are coming in right now with the Thorlar raid, uh, we are trying to outsmart one of the most terrifying killers in this game, which is Mr. Del Falco. He is a professional cleaner who cleans up dead bodies, and he doesn't like it when people snoop in his business, when people uh, take note of what he's doing. So what we have, there's what our theory is right now, is that we can avoid him if we just never report any dead body, body part, blood, etc. Like anything that he might want to clean up. If we just leave him to do that and we don't report any of it, it might completely avoid spawning Del Falco. And the reason we think it's even possible to avoid spawning Del Falco is because the developer literally came to our stream to tell us that it is possible to do that, but apparently no one has figured it out yet, so we could be the first to figure this out if it works. I could also just fucking die. <laughs> okay, or <Over> that. <laughs> Damn. So I, I think that was probably because I was just sitting at the computer too long because I was fucked. Dude, we actually got every single report because four of them were body parts. All right, well, that was a bit of a yikes. Uh, so you have to stand up way more than I was doing right there. That was just an oopsie on my part. Um, you have to like constantly get it from the computer. I was trying to figure out like, or sort of avoid doing it as much because I know it's very annoying when I'm just constantly standing up, but I'm sorry, I don't make the rules. This is just the way the game's supposed to be played. Like after every few camera flicks, I'm supposed to stand up 
and look if there's noir in the room now i really wish i would have stood up there earlier because i don't know if that was because i missed like noir in the room somewhere else like maybe he spawned in the bathroom and i would have had to check in the bathroom um so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna stand up so we're also we're trying to test two things here we're trying to test to avoid del falco and personally i also want to try um i think i'm actually gonna what if i just leave the lights on like, I know I can turn these lights off, but they changed the way Lucas works, uh, which is actually making him way more forgiving. So the way Lucas worked before is that if you were hiding from him, you would hide under the bed and then he would, uh, there would be a specific timer that was based on how many lights you had turned off. And if you got out from the bed before that timer was over, it would reset and you would have to wait. Like, let's say the timer was 50 seconds and you waited 49 seconds. You leave the bed, you would have to wait another full 50 seconds uh, to actually despawn him. And if you le left early again, you would have to wait again. So that's how uh, Lucas used to work. However, they've changed it now where you can uh, leave the timer won't reset, which I think is a really good system, which means that we might actually be fine just leaving the lights on now, which is going to make dealing with Noir easier because we can just wait a little longer for Lucas and leave early. And if we still see the laser, we just go back under the bed. I think I'm going to try that just to see, um, just to, just to see how much of a difference that makes. But as I was saying, there's two things I want to figure out. One is, can we avoid Del Falco? And the other thing is, um, do the noir actually spawn in the bedroom and the bathroom? Because that's supposedly a thing, but that seems insanely fucked up if that's actually a thing. Because that means that every time you stand up, you would have to go around the house to check if they spawn. That just seems like a really weird mechanic that's very, like, non... Uh, it's a very non-welcome-to-the-game mechanic where you're just like... Oh, you didn't see the enemy that you couldn't possibly see? Well, you die anyway. <laughs> That's so dumb. So yeah, maybe this will this will help us. Well, if he, if they definitely spawn there, then we should probably turn off the lights because if they spawn there even a single time, that means we're gonna have to check them every time. So yeah, I don't know. Uh, maybe turning off the lights is a good idea then, because that just helps you against the other killers. But as long as uh, Clint hasn't told us everything, we're fine. We're not gonna get killed. Um, so we're still gonna stick to the same strategy here. Hopefully not get killed. You don't have to walk around. They cast shadows that you can see from the computer. Okay. All right. See, that is cool. I like that. Okay, but then I, that means I have to have the lights on in those rooms to see those shadows, right? Okay, wait, but I have to turn shadows off. I guess I'm gonna turn shadows back on then. <laughs> okay, uh, there we go. All right, let's, uh, I, well, let's trust our theory too. Let's, we're, we're being the ultimate science science master of this game because as per usual when a new adam games comes out fucking every youtuber plays it they scream at it they die over and over again and then they give up uh but out here we like to do it a little different we like to dissect these games and actually figure out what the fuck is going on now we would love to already report something that's hopefully not going to be a dead body uh door open that's an access point right there let's go easy peasy um Hopefully, we're going to get as many of those as possible and no body parts and shit. There's so many... How? When did we die? We died at like 11. We died insanely early. So, this is our code, by the way. 35395. So, uh, keep that in mind. If this code ever changes, uh, we would have to... Let me see. Is it changed? No, it's fine. Uh, yeah, we'll see. Uh, you can drop the code in chat. Do you already have the game, Shade? I mean, I, I always find it weird to drop codes in chat. I wouldn't drop a uh, a code in chat because there's just going to be like a bot. I think there's bots on Twitch that like look at streams and that snipe when something looks like a Steam key and then immediately redeem it. So uh, you're just going to give the code to some kind of like scam bot. So don't do that. Uh, but you can send it to one of the mods and then we can maybe do a giveaway in the Discord if you want to do that. Or you can just like give it to your friends. Like it's all up to you. <clears throat> Blinking light in the last server. Me when I don't listen to this. No, nah, I just said this like a, an hour ago. No, this is not a report. This is this is this is just normal. <laughs> My life <laughs> every time. Dude. OK, uh, I don't think he can. They can spawn yet, right? Because Clint hasn't even fucking started spawning. Um, so it seems that around every seven minutes, something will appear. It's not as reliable as I want it to be. Uh, 
Hello, Ronald. What a fucking stupid name is that? Excuse me. I'm not even named Ronald. Who the fuck is Ronald? There's a hack right there. Look at that. Two reports already. We're done. We could now start dicking around and doing nothing, but then we would definitely lose later in the game. I don't know if I should... I don't have to stand up right yet. This is going to be cool, though. The fact that you could see the shadows. Thank you so much for that knowledge. I was going to be very annoyed walking back and forth between those things. Yeah, that's going to be sick. The war can spawn in a room if the door to that room is closed except the living room. Are you 100%? Are we 100% sure about that? I don't think so. I think I think we should just go with the shadow strategy. And if the shadow strategy doesn't work, we'll try something else. We're just going to do do what it takes or try to figure out how to deal with these enemies. Clint is still not messaging us, right? Yeah, Clint hasn't even sent us anything, so let's go. We all good. <clears throat> Yeah, he said that there's going to be breather in nightmare mode. Uh, so the way breather is going to work, uh, there's going to be a new thing. You're going to have a camera that you need to place in the hallway, and that will add a new camera to your computer screen. So you have 21 cameras instead of 20. And on that camera, there could be a breather showing up. So you have to check that camera every now and then to see if there's a breather. And then you have to hold the door. Like in Welcome to the Game 1, which is actually fucked up. <laughs> but really cool that there's another enemy coming. So that, this hack already reported, right? That was our second report. Uh, we're almost at 21, which means we would expect to see something else. Okay, Clint, can you just not tell me this so I don't have... Uh, it would be cool if he... I don't know, I, like... I feel like it would be nice if casual mode had like a way for you to turn on these enemies, right? So then you could you could try them out. You could like learn uh, how to deal with these things rather than having to do it on normal mode. But that's 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 an Adam game for you. Phone in the office. Phone in the office as well. Phone in the office. Thank you very much. Alrighty, there we go. We got three reports. Let's go. Yeah, Breather has been in every single game. Every single Welcome to the Game. Except, I guess, Scrutinized, if you count that one. I guess if you count Welcome to the... Or The Waiting Room. That one is also... Uh, I don't know if I have to stand up already. So, we're looking for shadows out there. That's cool. Alrighty. So we, we don't have to move around. We just literally sit and look. We'll see how that works. So these are all just normal items. Okay, so he's done explaining us, which means now, boom, all enemies are activated. Or at least from my experience, you cannot really be killed before that. And there should be... We already got through... We got way more luck this time with our reports. We did not get any blood reports that we're going to have to skip out on. I'm going to report suspicious people. I feel like that's fine. That phone we already reported. Unless it disappeared and then another phone spawned right in its place which would be very stupid i have a package already 3c 30 minutes damn okay, i might have to start standing up way more frequently 3c there's a leg god damn it i wish i could report that right now but i don't want to make del falco angry or well, i don't mind making del falco angry but we just need to do the science right if it works and then if it works, we can see, can you still report blood, maybe? And then if that... Uh, oh, the code changed. Thank you very much. I'm not seeing shadows. 64841. 64841. We should do one more report and then go do this package, probably. I'm, I'm really counting on the shadow strategy here. The shadow that shows in the bathroom is super subtle. Shit. That's going to be a disaster. Okay, well, maybe we have to look in the bathroom then. We'll just see if we fucking die over and over again. Because th this is the thing with these games. If you want to beat... Like, if we want to beat Nightmare Mode eventually, we're going to have to min-max the living shit out of every little mechanic in this game. Because you cannot... There's a leg there, I know, but I can't see it. Because you cannot do safety strats when you're playing... Nightmare mode, you're gonna have to like, because then we'll just run out of quotas, right? We'll not have enough. But yeah. Did you, you guys fucking upstairs stop screaming at each other? I know the leg is a report, but we're not reporting any body parts because we're trying to see if that prevents Del Falco from spawning. 
that's our strategy here. Okay, there should be another thing right now. Get the broom. I hope he actually adds that mechanic he was talking about. That you might get loud neighbors in the future. And then you'd have to, like, smack on the ceiling being like, stop that! It'd be very funny. I'm looking very closely to the shadows. At least if I look and then we die to it, we can, like, review the footage afterwards, right? We can be like, oh, damn, there actually was a shadow. Dude, that's so fucked up. All right, we, we, there's a tablet, probably. Hack. I'm going to say that's a hack, and then we're going for the for the thing. All right, let's go. What's the deal with the shadow? So there is Noir that could show up in the bathroom and in the bedroom, supposedly. But the shadows are apparently very sneaky. We need to go all the way to 3C. That's kind of stupid, but all right. <clears throat> Ding dong. Hey, Lenina, what's up? Third image of it makes the bitrate so bad, I know. <laughs> it's, uh, it's the bitrate destroyer. <clears throat> I have not played Welcome to the Game 2 modded, no. There's, like, a pretty cool mod that I still need to try out eventually. Okay, I love how the first time we saw an enemy in the, in the last run, we immediately died to them. Because we hadn't seen a single enemy up to that point, and then we got fucking murdered. God damn. There's lag spikes. I don't know what's going on. I'm not seeing any drop frames on my end, so I don't want to. Don't know what to tell you. You gotta f go to the roof and fix your signal. Gotta go to the roof and then avoid getting killed by Lucas or Del Taco. What happens if you see Noir? So there's two Noirs. There's the male and the female. For the female, you have to get close and then turn around and not move your mouse at all. For the male, you have to just shine your flashlight at it and turn around. It's way easier. I've seen people even survive without turn turning their flashlight on and shining it at them. But I'm pretty sure it explained that you need to use uh, the flashlight. So I don't know how they survived, but whatever. Will there be a Welcome to the Game 4? There's technically not been a Welcome to the Game 3 yet. I know I call this Welcome to the Game 3 because it's very similar. And just people know the name Welcome to the Game, right? So, you need to go all the way to 3C, right? Can the sniper get on the roof? Yes. 3C, was it? I think so. Yes. All right, well, we're dropping it off. We're running. It said you need the flashlight. Yeah. Okay, well, let's try and not die immediately after the first package this time, because that's when we died <clears throat> in the last run. We did make it to 11, but then we got killed. This game is just paranoia simulator. You got to be as paranoid as possible, and then you win. I was not being paranoid enough. We're, we're just trying to avoid body reports at all and just seeing if that works. We don't know if it works. No one has figured it out yet. We're, the, we're gonna be world's first testing this. It'll be kind of spooky. There gonna be anyone in the room, because I think that's how I died last time. I just didn't check the room properly after coming back. Code was... 6, 4, 8, 4, 1. Okay, let's check the room now. No noir. See if there's a shadow. I'm not seeing any shadow, but let's check. Okay, no noir. It's fucked up, man. <laughs> if they can just spawn there. I'm gonna sit down and immediately get up, so don't get your hopes up. Did that report count, by the way? It did count. Okay, and then, let's see. Any shadows? I'm not seeing any shadows. I hope that setting it to epic actually is the way to go. So that tablet is gone. Alright, let's go... Client received the package. We got five quota points now. We're going to stand up a, f a little bit more frequently here now. Uh, there's a suspicious suit or backpack. It's actually... We're just a little paranoid because literally last time we died right here. You can't run through the laser apparently if you just like sprint through it. But that's scary as fuck. All right, we got the report six already, and we're almost at 11. That's pretty damn good. If you can get eight in the first time... Oh, that's an open window access point. 
If you can get eight in the first hour, that's insane. Just like I want to get like a reference for how the shadow looks like. I don't know. Running through the laser is going to be the next experiment. So uh, my next thing that I want to do after this, if we can, because you cannot spawn Del Falco on normal or on casual mode, right? But I want to do a casual mode run and just push the limits of what's possible. Like, see how far you can run towards. Like, can you turn off all the lights? How long can you stay in the camera screen? When will you die to the war? Um, can you run through the laser back and forth? Like, all and, and maybe see some different jump scares. Like, what happens if you go up the elevator while Lucas is active or something? Because on casual mode, it doesn't matter, right? You can just die. Uh, and then obviously I want to play nightmare mode whenever that comes out, but that doesn't exist yet I thought I saw someone there. I know I'm standing up a lot, but There's probably gonna be noir very soon here This game hard it is very very hard Especially it's not as hard as scrutinize scrutinize we already reported this open window scrutinize requires an Incredible amount of game knowledge before you even stand a chance of beating it uh, I feel like the Noir is going to be here, dude. I'm checking. Maybe it's because we have the lights on now that they don't spawn. What if we turn off this light? Will that make it easier to see the shadow? Probably not. I feel like this light literally does nothing besides spawning more Noir. Because if you turn off lights, the Noir spawns more frequently. It says that in the, in the tutorial. Uh, so, yeah. I don't know. We're just, we're just, it might take forever to avoid Lucas now because all the lights are on, right? No blood, no package. I feel like we're missing out on some. One more and then I have to check again. I'm so scared right now. If this game makes you absolutely turbo paranoid. Okay, uh, well, we're, we're at 11 now. We're already above quota. So we have a full hour to collect extra quota points here, which is gonna be necessary for the end game. Cause in the end game, you cannot spend basically any time at the computer and specifically, or especially now when we are playing it without reporting a whole category of reports. I'm gonna check the bathroom real quick. I'm not seeing any shadow, so this would be insanely messed up if it's there, but it's not. Yeah, more lights will spawn or Noir less, but it will make Del Falco, but we're not going to hopefully have Del Falco, and it will, it will keep Del Falco and Lucas longer. But if we can avoid spawning Del Falco, that actually might make this way better, right? I don't know. We're learning, and we'll probably die along the way. Like, you could beat this the old-fashioned way. The strategy, the tried and tested strategy I've already beat twice, right? I've beat it twice. I just want, kind of want them to spawn. So we can fucking rule it out. It's the square in the parking space. This thing? I don't know. Oh, come on. I have to stand up first. Any. Nothing. Alright, we're gonna repair this. Hopefully not die. I'm not seeing anything in the camera. Any oh, there's a dead body. That body above here. You see that? We're not gonna. I don't know if you can see this because the fucking bit rate's probably shit right now. But we're not gonna report that because that's gonna interfere with Del Taco's work. You see right there? I have to get up immediately. I'm actually just gonna check them real quick. What if I immediately get snipped by Lucas? Remember the anxiety, the code changing so much as it did before was insane. Yeah, we can't report that, sadly. Otherwise, I feel like probably if you have to choose between Del Falco or missing out on every single dead body and arm and blood, you should probably take, like, the reports and just deal with Del Falco the old-fashioned way. Because, like, missing that many reports can be absolutely killer. <gasps> <gasps> Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10 bonus seconds. Holy shit. All right. Did not see a shadow because he was right in my fucking face. Okay. Uh, that's good, though. That means we, we avoided them. No dead body here. But it's still there. Can that shit leave? I don't want it. Okay, someone is banging at the door. Is there a laser? I feel like Lucas is going to be spawning soon. Hmm. Yeah, if you see him in that actually scared the hell out of me, by the way. I was so not ready for that. There's a wallet right there. It's a little hard to see. There it is. Okay, so we're two reports over. We really want more. But... Ooh, what the fuck was that? You see the... Huh? Why did the... <laughs> the carpet just become all glitchy? Am I insane? What the fuck happened to the carpet? Do we have a report, by the way? Of a package, we already did that. Okay, nice. This report is good. Let's go. We're so good at this game. We're cracked. He's unbelievable. And he's gonna die. So it's kind of crazy that they still spawned like that. Oh, the code changed. 57332. Thank you so much. Uh, 57332. Boom. Lucas is going to be here any second. I forgot how... I was like, oh, nice. We're going to play some Dead Signals. It's going to be a lot of fun. And then I forget that this game fucking... <laughs> makes you lose your mind. Oops, wrong. No, that was fine. Okay. No, no blood reports. We cannot dare interfere with Del Falco's work. His business. Dead Signals is very fun. It's very fun. It's just very stressful. Like, it must be really relaxing to watch because you don't have to deal with any of the garbage. But I have to deal with all the garbage. There's this wallet still that we already reported. Really hope... Oh, come on. Package. Uh, 5B 30 minutes. All right, guys. 5B 30 minutes. I have to check again. I don't... I feel like Lucas is showing up any second. Did I say 30 seconds? I meant 30 minutes. <laughs> Still very short though, but not as short as 30 seconds. Uh, there's a package back there. Let's go. High value. That's that's extremely good. Okay, let's just check while that report is going. We'll just quickly check the the rooms. See if there's any fishy business going on. This game looks so good, by the way. Like you gotta, you, you should look at this, man. Look at this right here. You have to see the reflections on this freaking. Look at the way. The light shines off the keyboard. It's actually cracked. Like, look, if you go to the this, look, now it's red. It's like actually properly, beautifully reflected. It's, it's like you're here in real fucking life. Anyway, we should turn these lights back on. Otherwise, we're going to die. And that's Unreal Engine 5 for you right there. Damn insane. I'm walking around because if I sprint and there's Noir, I'm gonna get killed. When is Lucas gonna show up, man? What are we looking for? For masked killers that wanna hit me with a hammer to end my life. Any access points? There's a lot of blood, but once again, we can't report that because there might it might piss off Del Falco. I, do, I feel like if we're gonna try this again, like next time, if this works, which that's a huge maybe, if it works, we should try doing the blood reports next time. I'm just gonna, we're just gonna play it completely safe. Like this is the ultimate way to test this theory, right? If this works, if th what we're doing right now doesn't work, then like it, there's just no way to avoid Del Falco with this strategy. Because, like, the other theory that we had, right? Which is the theory that I was running with, or that um, that I've also said earlier today, that you just don't want to look at them at all on the cameras. But as I explained earlier, I looked at all the times I've ran into Del Falco before, and they are anywhere between 11 p.m., like, right at 11, which is insane, 
or all the way to 1 p.m. So that would mean you have to not look at the camera for two hours straight, which is literally impossible. You just lose. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't think that's going to work. Uh, what? Okay, well, we've indeed discovered that this strategy does not work. Okay, so then it has to be... Dude, that is... I thought that was such a cool idea. Okay, so that means that you probably don't want to look at them at all. Which, as, as I said, so I've looked at... Let me let me show you my times. So, 11.42, 11.36, 12.05, 1.00, 11.15, 11.29 is all the times I was looking at it. Uh, oh, there is Lucas. Was all the times we've ran into Del Falco before. We've also tried immediately switching away from Del Falco. That did not work. Okay, so this means... Uh, the laser go. Um, what oh, laser? Huh? Is he killing me? Oh, there it is. What the fuck? Uh, that means that you... That genuinely the only strategy that I can think of is not seeing not looking at the cameras or oh, the the code changed for two hours how are you gonna do that i thought that would i thought that actually made an incredible amount of sense reporting not not reporting the dead bodies okay but that means we're like actively or at least like if it didn't like prevent him from spawning like at least it could delay him from spawning right uh that's so what is our next Theory. So now we have Del Falco. So this, uh, I mean, we could try going a little crazy. Like, uh, does he only show up with rooms that have bodies in it? Because you can't avoid looking at him somehow. Adam said you can avoid looking at him somehow. Yeah, I mean, Adam is just like, just don't fucking look at the camera forehead. Just don't look the cam use the camera for two hours as if that's a feasible strategy. Like, that just does not... Fuck it. I think it might just not. I, th I think it might just be a lie. Like I, because Adam has many times told me things that just do don't like work at all, just to troll me. So this might be another one of those. Uh. But like I don't, because I don't know how. I don't know how you could have possibly avoid looking at him. Like that would just be so. Is he back? Is he gone? I think he's gone. We did it. Okay, so that is... I mean, we need to change this code. Man, that, that's crazy that he still spawns so early. There's like a mini gray spirit. But we did that. We literally, as soon as we looked at him, I immediately looked away and stopped looking at the camera. Obviously, now I've, it's 58761. Obviously, now we've looked at him a lot. Um, but we can't just run this... Let, can we try and be stupid? Can we, can we, I want to see what happens if you die to Del Falco. I haven't died to Del Falco ever. Let's, shall we do that? Shall we, shall we, like I, I haven't, I don't think I've ever been killed by this guy. Yeah, he's gone. Okay, so we're just, oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bonus second. Okay, let's uh do something stupid. The signal was off as well, and try and find Mr. Del Del Taco. Signal was also off. So do we go all the way? I think we just go to a different floor. Five B package. I'm just gonna go to a different floor and walk. To avoid Del Taco, you can't go over current quota. That would be so fucking dumb if that's the way. Um. Uh, that just like that lore wise just doesn't make any sense. You looked it up and said, okay, so you have that is such a oh, fuck you. Because we try not looking at him for like that is such Come a closer. That is so much simpler. Okay, but then we we know like let's let's try that theory. That thing is way easier. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bonus second. All right, fucking Del Falco, can you kill me? I'm gonna turn on the lights here. I don't think he's gonna spawn here because the other enemy already spawned. I wanna get murdered. 
Did I ever play Silent Hill? I've never played Silent Hill. I'm gonna go to a different floor. I just wanna see the kill animation for Del Falco. Oh, come on. You guys ready? Jesus! Dude, he fucking chopped me up good! Alrighty, so that is how I've been caught. Correct report eight total events spawn 16. I mean, we missed a lot because we were gone from the computer. Okay, next try is, I guess, looking away instantly. So we're gonna have to time it. If you look away in less than a second, I guess I literally was right on the edge of that uh, last time we played. It's I, I like about this game, what, I, what one of the main things I enjoy compared to something like scrutinized is that the in scrutinized when you lose you have to go through all those early nights again which is insanely annoying uh because it takes so long before you get back to the part where it actually gets hard in this game you can make use of those early hours to really get a lot of extra points to make those later hours way easier which uh like is a really satisfying thing to do like get those early quotas um so now we're just gonna report everything religion um we're gonna re report everything and just move away from his camera instantly that is uh really weird though that they like specifically say we should have read the message there so the message about del falco is like um he doesn't like it when people see his evidence, which I guess maybe that could also be like, just look away from him as soon as possible. So around 11, from 11, 10 onwards, we're gonna have to be ready to like immediately flick away from a camera that he's on. And then we'll see. I don't know. His toolbox in the, in the toilet. I don't think that's a thing. <clears throat> this is cool though i mean we're, we're this is the way you figure stuff out right we have had to do so much fucking science to figure out scrutinized and learn about all the mechanics this is we're 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 making the path ourselves. we can't follow the path of other people when the path does not exist i don't think i have to pay attention anymore let's just look at all the stuff i love how he is a, a saw just buy a gun on the dark web and shoot him in the face when he attacks you. <laughs> nope. Instead, he he kills me with a tiny little bone saw. Peace. All right, it's almost seven. Can we get anything? It's crazy that he doesn't at least that he doesn't have any interaction with the body reports at all. Huh. Starting at eleven. Group the cameras in three seconds and rapidly go between them. Uh, Airy Barry, thank you for the BAM donation. I don't know what that currency is, but I appreciate it. When are gonna play multiplayer horror? Uh, we played that yesterday. We do community days with Phasmo sometimes as well. But, uh, not very often. Is that a package? No. I'm not even bothering with the... With standing up right now because Clint hasn't even started talking to us. There's gonna be another thing that we can learn if you can die. It's already seven. There should be a report. There's no that blood. I don't think so. There has to be something. Something out here. Hiding in plain sight. No one is getting it. We don't have open windows. Is there more reports? This is also another thing that we just have to be better and get better and better at. Um the more reports we know about, the easier nightmare mode's gonna be, because all we have to do is literally just look at like the things that we know. Is that money? Is that a pile of money? I don't think so. We might as well throw a high value out there. Quickly check if there's any suspicious shenanigans going on. I don't think that's gonna work. Blood stains in the parking lot. We'll see. Wonder it no. That's not blood, that's not blood, that's not blood. Wait. Oh, that's just a trash bag. That's not blood. I don't think there's blood here. It's just really random whether or not you get these early reports sometimes. Maybe. Maybe we're just missing them. But I feel like that is silly. Because we got so many eyes. 
avoid suspicious reports altogether. I don't, because we didn't, we got a single suspicious report, right? Of a bag of like a, I guess that could be another like strategy, but I don't know about that one. The yeah, Adam increased the RNG. Yeah, we're just gonna have to flick away from him really quickly. I mean, that is... That is an Adam-style mechanic. Like, if you look at him for too long, he kills you. And if you look away immediately, you... Because that was literally the first thing that came to mind. But then I tried it. But I guess it's really, really, really precise. Like, you have to look away. This is a high value, right? Is it? You have to look away, like, fucking instantly. There's a new code. We have 75048. Oh boy. 754. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Gonna be. I mean, I guess we'll be able to test after we see him. Like, do we just look away from the cameras at that point entirely? Because the thing with something like that is that it doesn't require any planning or whatsoever from the... How are we fucking getting no reports, by the way? It's already 20 minutes. It's insanely unlucky. No windows open. Like, and we can just look at the cameras 100% right now, and we're still not getting any. That package is still there. Maybe that was literally the only thing. Kind of messed up. I have the flashlight, right? Yes, I do. What if you don't have the flashlight when the Mill Noir shows up? Are you just fucked? <laughs> you just can't do anything? Just die. There's a laptop! Aha! Laptop amongst the other monitors. Okay, Lucas, you're almost done explaining. Do, 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 do. The, the elevator music always gets stuck in my head after I play this game. All right, well, that's that's the quota right there, but we really would... I guess it's just very random in which uh, parts of the hour they the reports come in. Which is a bit of a shame. I was hoping they would come in early. You have a package... Package at 4C45 minutes. Okay, is he done? 4C45 minutes. 4C is such a shitty room, man. Okay. Laptop's still there, but we already reported that. I mean, there might have been a suspicious report in that room, you know? You can see that. Yeah, once... It's gonna be tricky, dude. <laughs> I guess if we literally flick the camera away as soon as he, as he shows up, we'll be fine. Zynga, thank you for the 21 months. If I play Don't Scream. Yes. Eric, Eric and Barry, thank you for the five gift subs. What the fuck? Okay, there's just nothing fucking happening right now. And we should have just multi-tested those theories. That could have been interesting. Can anyone spawn in the bathroom? Yes, but... I don't know what's happening right now because we're literally getting fucking shafted by the reports. We're still playing. Are we just getting? We're just getting really unlucky RNG, I guess. This is so weird because last time when we were at this point, we were already had fucking six reports. Oh, there's a high value there. Now we're not even. We're just. We just got one rollover point. What if it's actually that you cannot get any rollover points? If you get a rollover point, he kills you. <laughs> Imagine. That would literally just fucking deal with them. Like, that is not worth at all. The rollover points are completely required. Without them, you cannot beat the, the later stages. Do we still need to report that or deliver that package? Uh, fuck me, man. I want to at least report one more thing. 
No shadows helped. Yeah, I mean, we're not doing no shadows right now because we want to... We want to see the shadows that the Noir casts on the floor, supposedly. We don't know if that's true. I'm not seeing any shadows. Apparently very subtle, though. Probably something really stupid like you can't go to floor 5. <laughs> Door unlocked. Well, I'm reporting this now. If we die within 30 minutes, the quotas... We didn't get any reports anyway. This, this run sucked. If we die, we die. Didn't die. Seven forty nine fifty. Nice. No noir, no Lucas. We totally safe. Okie dokie. Uh, that high value it, we already got, right? I hope because it literally just disappeared. Ah, oh, there's a peep. There's a fucking dude. Then? Is this a ghost hunting game? Depends on... No. <laughs> it is not. It is in fact not. The laptop is gone. I mean, we saw some new ones here even. It does have that same screw nice thing where you basically have to be as paranoid as you have to be paranoid as fuck from the very beginning onwards or you just die eventually. Like you, even though the dangers aren't as uh, menacing in the early game, you still got to go ham with the with the paranoia because otherwise you just like that one time you get unlucky, you just die. Uh, you're still there. They have breathing animation. I don't know. Okay, four. This is excruciatingly unlucky. Right here. We've gone... Uh, gone two or two bonus reports. You should be anywhere. I mean, I'm probably missing them, but like you guys aren't saying anything either. So I don't know. Maybe they do spawn in the shadows. The package is, is real. Yeah, we need to deliver the package. Fuck. I, once you see that noir, you can also chill a little bit, but I'm not seeing any noir right now. Oh, thought I saw someone there. Blah, 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 blah. No windows open. No wallet right there. Dude, we're getting so... This is why I'm sticking around. Because I think the way this works is that it just... So it spawns like... Um, it spawns like uh, between 8 and 10 anomalies or something in the first hour. Or maybe... I don't know. Um, maybe 6 to 10 or something. I don't know the range. But those can randomly show up in any part of the hour. So if you haven't gotten many reports... Uh, mm -hmm. Do we do the do we need to do the package? No, we still have time. I mean, we have 10 minutes past 11 to do it. Uh, you want to stick around at that end part of the hour to really quickly mop up those reports that are all coming in fast. But I don't know if that's actually true. That's just a spitball idea there. Like if, if they just randomly pick a point so that they could stack up together, like you could have multiple reports all show up in the last five minutes of the hour. That could be possible. But maybe it's not. But we're only at five right now, which I feel is a criminal act from this video game. I'm so focused on the shadow. Yeah, the guy you need to use your fucking... What the hell was that? I thought it... the, the window was popping in. You see that? Pokemon monster. There's a high value, but we already got that one, right? Ah, code again. We have five, six, two, one, three. Five, six, two, one, three. Five, six, two, one, three. Jesus. 
We might mess up. I mean, at least if, like, this has been confirmed that if you swap away from him fast, that we can learn how to do that. It's just, it's not that big of a deal to have the fall card, which is, like, the main thing I want is knowing how to do it. Uh, the, the one thing that could happen is if he shows up on a camera that's, like, broken, right? That would be super messed up. Because then you can't see him. Do the package. Yeah, we should probably do the package. Let's just try and find one more report here. Um, I'm not seeing anything. Uh, there's a fucking bomb there. I'm gonna say that's suspicious. Nana, thank you for the gift subs. Thank you. Suspicious bomb. Okay, so that I guess that's what we take. Now we need to go for the report or it's going to be ogre. I mean, we're just going to miss one, right? It's not the end of the world, but we want to avoid it. Maybe one more. One more before the end here. One more sneaky report. Because he doesn't show up before 11, I think, at least. I've never seen that. Fuck. Dang it. Okay, come on, any any final things here before the hour swap? There's a hack. Okay, we'll take that one and then we'll so that's seven. You see, I was my theory actually panned out. Wait, what? Let's do one more quick pan through the cameras to see if anything else spawned. So that is still seven quota points in the first hour. It just wasn't until the very end that they started all showing up together. So maybe there is a there's some truth to that theory I posed earlier. Okay, I think we gotta go for the package though, otherwise we're gonna miss it. Where does it need to go again? Oh god. Or C, that's so far as well. Fuck me. Or C, can we make this? YouTube lets you rewind stream. Yeah, that's really nice about the YouTube live stream that you can, uh, like, you have the YouTube player, right? With the, with the YouTube player is so much better than the Twitch player. For some reason, they've just never... I don't know. I think the YouTube player or the Twitch player is designed this way so people make clips more often because a really easy way to rewind something is if something cool happens, instead of rewinding it, you just click the clip button and then you can just get a, like a short snippet of that part of the stream. So now it's gonna start like turbo stress mode. We need to start flicking through the cameras. Which we might still mess up. I think if I mess up, mess it up this time, we're just gonna roll with it and then, like, pose that as the most uh, reliable theory. Let's just horsey. Oh boy, dude, Johnny, thank you for Bram. I think it's also because YouTube and Twitch have such a different vibe. Like YouTube or Twitch is all about like being there at that time, whereas YouTube is more like binge watching, right? So there's literally gonna be people that come into this stream that instead of going from where we're at right now, they'll just go like, all right, goodbye. I'm just gonna go to the beginning and watch from the start. Whereas that's not a really a thing that people on Twitch would even wanna do. Like, I don't think people on Twitch like open up the VOD, like, oh, they click on a stream. Oh, the stream is live. Let me open up the VOD and start watching from the beginning. No, you just watch from, from where it's going. <laughs> <laughs> that's not a thing people do here but that's definitely a thing people do on twitter or on youtube okay 4c oh you dickhead i was too late dude the fucking elevator is too damn slow man all right well rip <laughs> fucking elevator damn we left like so early too good god we must have been like literally if i ran down that hallway we probably would have gotten it Repackaged for me. <laughs> Yoink. Yeah, we'll do nightmare mode when it's out. It's not out yet. I can't time travel. Okay, so there was no noir, which means there might be noir here now, which is very fucking annoying. Code was five, six, two, one, three. Nice.
Seeing a shadow. Okay, I am now mega paranoid, so let's see. How the fuck are we gonna do this? I don't know how we're gonna do this. So we missed the package by... What? 45 minutes? You find it? It's just wrong. It's just wrong. I'm... Huh? Am I stupid? No, I... Wait. Oh, no, no, no. I was fine. What? Wait. So on 10, it ran out, right? Wait, can it not go until... Wait, don't I have six more minutes? Is my math... My math is fucked, is it? Wait, huh? Oh, I was... I was too late. Wait, we got the message at 25? Or at 15? Wait. Oh, it ran out at 11.10. Dude, fucking stupid. It's 45, not one hour. Oh, uh, Oh, yeah, yeah, so it's 15 minus, yeah, yeah. Damn, that would have, must have still been, like, literally fucking in the same, like, we, when we entered that hallway, it must have ran out somewhere. Okay, I'm just freaking not doing anything, because I'm really scared now Del Falco can start spawning. So what do we do? We just get ready to, like, flick through it immediately? How do I do this? Like, we have to spot Del Falco right away and move the camera immediately? This is too stressful. I hate this game. <laughs> Lucas is gonna spawn extremely soon here, yeah? Okay, get ready. It's gonna be so hard. I'm just gonna like, oh God, hey, there he is. Uh, I'm gonna mess this up, man. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Look super fast past all the cameras here. How the fuck are we supposed to spot anything then? Group the cameras in groups of three and swiftly go down them. That doesn't solve the problem that if he's on the last cam that you land on, then you have to pat. Yeah, like it doesn't solve the problem. Literally just being ready to immediately double click as soon as you see him. I think it's going to be the way to go. A second is pretty long, right? If it's uh, like less than you have a second to move away from him. Ugh. 25 seconds already passed. Let's see. Are oh, you still there? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, the code went out. My theory is you need to find the toolbox. I insta skipped him the first time and he still became a threat. That's what I'm saying. That's what I feel like I've already done, but people are saying this is the way to do it. I think he's done. And then the problem is going to be if I don't flick instantly, people are still going to be, well, maybe you weren't fast enough. Yeah, the timer doesn't reset anymore. Five, five, two, four, one. Uh, five, five, two, four, one. Goodness gracious. I mean, I, cause it's just like the range for him to spawn is too wide for you to be ready to. God damn. I think I'm gonna like mess this up. Like, I feel like there's no, po I feel like swapping fast is a terrible idea. Like this is also a problem because now he could be here and then what the fuck do I do? Do I just die? Cause I can't see cause the camera's fucked. <laughs> so this seems more like, I, I guess the, the, the reason behind making it so extremely precise is that it's more like a gimmick that you accidentally do sometime. Um, rather than it being like a, a reliable way to skip him. Like, what if he's behind this mess here? <laughs> yeah, you should not report a dead body. We already tried that. We literally just tested that theory. That's the thing with these games. The fucking... Oh, you hear the police sirens? Go hide in the bathroom. Like, there's just... Because there's so much confirmation bias in a game like this. Uh, the desk lamp is still off. Whoopsie daisy. I'm gonna check this. I'm beyond stressed. 
I'm unreasonably stressed out. Yeah, the owl noises. Oh, you hear the owl? That means ta Tanner is here. Um, like, it's just... Did I get that? That was insanely fast. I swapped as fucking fast as I possibly could. That was fucking fast as balls. Can anyone clip that and see how long it was? I feel like that's gotta be fast enough. That was super speedy. Fastest flick in the West, dude. That's if that doesn't work, then there's no way to react to do this based on reaction. I'm just gonna wait for fucking like a long time now. Um, that was definitely less than a second. That was less than 0 0.75 seconds for sure, right? It has to be. It's about half a second. Can any can people on YouTube, if you use your YouTube player and you use the comma and period point keys on your keyboard, you can go frame by frame. Can you count the amount of frames? <laughs> that would be that would be the freaking mega scientific way to do this. And then we can like cons or assuming that the YouTube FPS is like or frames I don't know. What the FPS is? 36 frames? Did you actually count it? <laughs> this man's committed to the job. So what do we do now? Do we just wait? And just wait for like a solid, I don't know how long. Like, uh, let's sit back at the computer and see what time it is. What time did we see him? Uh, 1141. I wish I could check other... I guess we could check other cameras. It was about zero... It was 36 to 37 frames. People counted on YouTube chat. Thank you, guys. 36 frames. That should be less than... Assuming it's uh, 60 frames per second. That should be more than enough. Okay, but we can look a little bit on the cams past here. We just need to make... Oh, they're suspicious. See, we still get an extra report as well. Nice. Dude, clean. So all I want to know now is if he's here. Like, I don't even care about winning this game. I just want to know if this is, like, a strategy. It's 0 0.6 seconds exactly. Damn, that was like... I was... Fucking hell. Okay, you got that one. Um, Once I get to the... Where? In which camera did he show up? I need to make sure not to go all the way around. You, you didn't get a warning, so he's not active? Maybe I... So we actually fucking did it. A hotel room. We actually did it. So this is the strategy. I, I kind of wish it was the not reporting bodies. I think that is lore-wise more interesting. Um, I mean, this is, I guess, easier in the over... Or in the... An overall thing. Oh wait, we have a message. Oh, that's probably the message from from the correct report. He might wait. Oh, he can try that. Wait, what if he keeps showing up now? Oh man, what if he like keeps showing up and if you keep flicking away fast enough? Wait, Adam sent a message. Let's go back to that camera to see if he's still there. We got a high value. Wait, did Adam post a message? I missed it. Can anyone repeat? I'm, I'm just like all focused on this now. I don't even care about winning. <laughs> yeah, people, many people have commented it was all 37. So the frames were definitely good. Oh, you didn't post the message? Okay. Well, we're going to the camera now. We're almost there. So he was here, right? So we did it. We avoided him. He's fucking gone. So now what do we do? Did we get a package? Wait, I want to deliver that package to see if he shows up. I want to I want to try and deliver this package. Like we're going to miss out on so much quota points here that we're probably going to lose. Um see, I have a package that needs to be delivered. 
Okay, 10 C, 30 minutes. Let's just immediately do that one. I'm gonna check the room first. Um, and then we see, cause he will, he will always show up. I mean, we didn't get the message, right? We didn't get the message from the shade. So we probably did it. Holy fuck. Wait for the signal to die. Yeah, I should if I was smart, but I'm just like, I literally just want to see if he's here. Like he's probably not going to be here, but maybe the signal will go out. Uh, no, no, no. He will show up normally. He can show up when you have a C package as well. We've had this happen before. But you don't, you don't have to worry. That's cool though. So we figured it out. We, we, if this works, we figured it out. We have, uh, solved the secret of Del Falco. Flip away within 0 0.75 seconds and you will avoid him, which is not reasonable, but okay. There we go. I was hoping there would be someone here. Come closer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bonus second. I need to be so careful of Lucas here. <clears throat> and I need to check because my, my signal is probably out as well. Let's hope it is. Dude, this would be sick. Please. Dude, the fucking timing. Insane. Oh, there it was. I need to check though. Oh, baby. Sexy. Okay, and now we deliver 10C. Oh, boy. Okay. And then hopefully no Del Falco. And then we did it. And then we can just keep playing. And if we die, we fucking die. It doesn't matter. We've solved the secret. Nice. Please don't show up here. Do not show up, sir. We did it! Let's go! We have successfully avoided Mr. Del Falco. Now the question is, does he try again later? Will he come back? And if I then not flick fast enough, he's gonna once again kill us. I don't mind if we fail. There, at least we'll know, right? We'll see. I feel like he's gonna try again. The code. Five, 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 two, four, one. Nice. Okay. Any, no, any. We're so going to die to something else, but it, I, I feel accomplished. Like I feel there's a weight off my shoulders now, because at least if we die, we have accomplished our, our main task here. to get up immediately deep i could just package delivered probably dies of stress i'm still stressed out don't don't worry okay so we're under quota now because we fucking dicked around the whole hour because we were so scared of uh <laughs> anything showing up <clears throat> or del falco showing up so now we somehow need to collect some some quota points It's gonna be oh okay okay that, that was probably not fast enough i was not ready for him <laughs> that is so stupid like okay dude i love how adam you know how adam originally told me that uh i was you know what he said in the chat why is insim on purpose spawning del falco i'm like my brother in christ this if you have to fucking Flick away in zero. Yeah, okay, Mr. Del Falco. So, I mean, at least we know. So you 
have like this is a fucking stupid thing to even try to do so there is basically no point trying to avoid Del Falco because he's going to constantly be there and he's going to like make it impossible to get enough quarter points. But hey, that is still good that we know it now. We're going to keep this run going just to see if we can live. Um, and if we die, we die. We have at least solved it. <clears throat> yeah, we got the message from Del Falco. Can anyone test that? It was 50 frames. Okay, wait, we binary searched it, dude. So 50 frames was too slow. So that was 0 0.83 seconds. So you have 0 0.75 seconds. You have three quarters of a second to swap away. If you're not in time, he spawns. That is fucking insane. <laughs> I feel like it should be a second if he wants to make it a fair mechanic, but I don't think Adam wants to make it a fair <laughs> mechanic, to be honest. He's just like one of those. I mean, ultimately, it's so annoying because like at a high level you should be able to i mean ser like what is the average hu hu human reaction time like isn't it something like that amount of time <laughs> i mean it's it's, it's 0 0.25 seconds but that is not counting spotting him and then also clicking away right there's like so much added and that is just bef that is before your brain even recognizes the threat in the first place that doesn't even count uh because you have to look anywhere on the camp because you could spawn somewhere secretly because there's some really sneaky spawns uh there's some it's crazy that he came back within like a few fucking seconds like he didn't even wait for oh there's a package like that seems kind of like I, I feel like that would be a reasonable mechanic if he like at least has like an hour cooldown before he tries to show up again but if he literally shows up like every 10 minutes like it's not worth to even try it <laughs> what the fuck oh boy okay report is good oh my god especially since cameras break right so if a camera breaks and del falco is on it which i've had happen before you're fucked but yeah, it's, I mean, ultimately, we know how to do it, right? We know how to do it, um, which is all I wanted to know. And we have I lived long enough to see myself become the villain. No, I mean, um, to learn that he will show up again. Because that was the main thing I wanted to know. Like, does he try again? Like, the first thing you want... Oh, I forgot to turn on this light. The first thing I wanted to know is, can you avoid him spawning? And then the second thing is... Uh, oh, the code change. Nine five eight nine four. Nine five eight nine four. Hey Lemon, thank you for the sub. Nine five eight nine four. Dude, Noir is gonna be so I'm just gonna only look at the at the shadows. If we die because we didn't see the shadows well enough, then we'll die. But yeah, he showed up. Six A twenty minutes! Six A Let's report one thing and immediately go for that. Uh, that's fucked up, dude. That's like no time at all. This is a setup. Come on. One thing. Just a single thing. Not too much. To There's a pistol. Uh, defense. Boom. Okay, good shit. I'm not seeing any shadow. I'm not seeing any shadow. Okay, 6A, we go. Oh boy, we're gonna see, he said it, he he confirmed it, the dev confirmed it, 0 0.75 seconds is the limit, that's crazy that I was uh, 8 milliseconds too slow, <laughs> what the fuck dude, I tried alright, and now, I mean to be fair though, that was me like, Like, I, I, I at least felt like there has to be some kind of grace period, so I wasn't, like, full in, like, flick mode. I, I think that could have been done. Like, you just pay close attention. But man, is it gonna add an extra layer of stress to an already fucking insanely stressful experience? <laughs> Goodness gracious. That's messed up, man. Uh, 
the signal is still fine. I'm shining a flashlight on you. I'm assuming that counts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten bonus seconds. There you go. What was it? 6A? Was it? 6A, yeah. Oh boy. We're gonna be too late already. I'm fucking telling you. 6A is on the left, right? This is because Del Falco's gonna come and if we miss the package here, Del Falco's gonna ruin it for us. It's just gonna be so nice to do a casual run again and like dick around and die over and over again. Okay, 6A. Oh, Jamas, hello. <laughs> okay, nice. We did it. We got the package down. We avoided the Falco. Jamas. The death lever. Yeah, I can't fucking wait. <laughs> All right. Code is nine five eight nine four. Nine five eight nine four. It works. Check in the shadow. No shadows. Is there? Sh I mean, he already showed up earlier, right? We have to sit down and immediately stand up because sometimes dangers will spawn when you sit down into the computer, but I'm not seeing anything. Okay. Here we go. Uh, we got a high value. Nice. We're still over quota. I'm just going to stand up every time after I report something. Can you do anything in the bathroom? What do you mean? You can hide. Oh, baby. It's, I mean, especially what you could do to counter Del Falco is just never look at a camera for longer than 0 0.75 seconds. Just set up like a, a macro <laughs> to flick through the cameras uh, faster than that. And then stop it if you need to report something. The ultimate... Del Falco cheese. <laughs> That's cheating. No fucking shit, Sherlock. That's why I'm saying it's the ultimate cheese. This is observation duty with extra steps. Yeah, if you want to boil it down to... to its core components. Uh, we need to spot as much shit as possible. We're so gonna, like, run out of quota. Trying, though. I'm, I'm giving it a valiant effort. What the fuck? That's scary. I mean, Matt, if he did one second, it might have been too easy. Th that high value we already got, right? I'm just gonna report it again. I'm not sure. It's the police! Sorry for standing up so much. It's just like literally you already saw us die to standing up too, too little during this exact video. Like it just has to be done. Uh, there's a body. I'm reporting it, Del Falco. Go Falco yourself, bitch. He's probably gonna start whistling. At some, like now, he's being like a piece of garbage. Op roast for real. <laughs> it should not stand up after like three camps, but I'm sorry. It's the paranoia. The paranoia is kicking in. It's cooking me right now. 
It's also because you're looking for different things. Ah! Whew. I should... I don't feel like I want to turn off more lights. I'd rather just have to... Because especially now that the... Oh, the code changed. Especially now that his timer doesn't reset, I feel way more comfortable having to wait a little longer because you can just, like, wait the exact timer, right? Why turn off the desk lamp? The more lights you turn off, the more he leaves. Or the faster he leaves. Oh, boy. My favorite game from Adam. I mean, Welcome to the Game 2 is my favorite, but it's just because it has the most going for it. Like, it's the biggest game from Adam. Um, Probably still there. Yes. But John's chapter will probably take the crown once that releases. Although it runs the risk of being like far too hard, right? Because Adam said there's definitely not going to be a casual mode for John's chapter. And I feel like that's kind of a shame. I wish... Because I really like casual mode in this game. I think it's very clever. Um, Like it, it gives casual players that aren't fucking gamer gods a way to like interact with the later game mechanics you gonna fucking leave yeah there we go just like the the website aspect of welcome to the game too right is is real neat but yeah it, he does it does take quite a long time if you don't turn off those extra lights we have Zero two four five two. Zero two four five two. Helps people to get used to the game, yeah. I mean oh come on. Do we have a package? No package? Piece of garbage? We we need to go for this shit. a shadow i'm not seeing anything go 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 hi that's it come closer don't move one two three four five six seven eight nine ten Bonus second. They freaking disappear. Alright, well, here goes nothing. We need to just turn this on. I, we might be able to pick up the package. But we won't be able, we won't know where it needs to be delivered. Obviously can't guess that. Do, 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 do. What's the goal in this game? To fucking survive. Do your job and survive the killers. That's the goal. Oh boy. It's the bonus seconds. <clears throat> We're at 1 p.m. No killers. There was a Lucas just now, right? So we should be fine. Hope we get lucky here. Me lucky. No lucky. Epo sad. Oh my god. <laughs> Fuck you. Never lucky baby rage. Not seeing anything. Not seeing any package. I was just checking if there was going to be a package. Okay, go because Del Falco. You know what? We should probably just trigger Del Falco, right? About time it would show up again. I don't know if it's worth, but we're doing it. We're trying it. I'm playing it too safe now. <laughs> cool though. I mean, like we, we, we accomplished what we wanted. Let's see if we get Falco. So uh, this is like the thing I've been trying. We just go onto a random floor to get him to come through that door. I right, unlucky. Because it's way slower to wait him out in the apartment. All right, come on, dude. You dickhead. You dickhead. The uh, Del Taco does not appear on floor nine. Well, he appears when you're in your room, but it's fine. 
Has anyone calculated the average time? No. Okay, let's see if we can... Should we just run it back with the... What was it? Zero... Zero, two, four, five, two. Now that we have to deal with these guys, I think I'm gonna do it a little stupid. I'm gonna turn off at least this light here, which might spawn more noir, but it's gonna help us get rid of Taco sooner. And we can still see the shadow here, right? We can turn off the rest. Fuck. I have played a Dead of Night. We played it twice. Oh, there's a suspicious guy. We are under quota, which is bad. Real bad. That's clamp. I'm just gonna be able to turn that off, right? We've also just gotten harder reports in general, to be honest. This this, this playthrough that's high value. Nice. No shadow. Like I wanna learn how to read those shadows, like what you're looking out for. What about the kitchen light? Yeah, that's what we used to turn off, but I just... I want to try and avoid having Noir spawn as much. I mean, I guess it's fine because I'm standing up a lot. Oh my god. No repair. Only Karina, thank you for the $5 donation. Try to flip through their cameras as fast as possible, like in FNAF. That doesn't help you. Airport keys and kitchen, yes. Okay, so we're full, but we want to get as much quota as possible. There's gonna be noir. I wonder if he's gonna make that longer on nightmare mode. That would genuinely mean that sometimes you just die because you have to repair your camera. <laughs> he's so stupid. Like, if you genuinely, I mean, I don't know. You can't really flick that fast, though. You will literally get, like, insanely overwhelmed. You flick every 0 0.75 seconds. Got those keys. Windows. Would be nice if there were more audio cues in a game like this. Like, I feel like... Adam doesn't add many audio cues just because he wants to make people like paranoid, like super paranoid. I wonder how his games would perform in the box office if he just went like, cause you could, there's totally like a version of this game you could create where it's just more forgiving. Like, yeah, it might be easier to beat, but there, like, imagine you just had a sound effect, like a sound cue of like Noir breathing down your neck. And then you would stand up and you would see them. Like, I feel, because I feel like having to do this, right? It doesn't bother me at all. Well, it's annoying, but it's like, I'm so used to so much worse because I've played Scrutinized. In Scrutinized, you have to do so much more shitty uh, checks every time. Do we have a package, by the way? Uh, two A 30 minutes, you fucking dickhead. You know what? We should actually go for that. Let's report one thing and then go for that. 2A is such a shitty package. Report one more thing. Uh, come on. Gotta be something active. Yeah, we need to go fast. What the fuck is that sound? That's not the whistling. But it kind of sounds like it. You hear that? Oh, there's uh, something. Ease or a uh, high high value. Okay, let's go for it. 2A. God damn. I'm not seeing shadow. Okay. Um...
Go, go, go. Freaking 10. Or this first. Davis! How do you avoid Del Falco? You have to flick away from his camera within 0 0.75 seconds, which is really hard to do. Reliably. I did it once and then he didn't arrive, but then literally 10 seconds later he came, or well, not 10 seconds, but very, very soon after he came back. And. Well. And I it wasn't in time that time. I was 7 milliseconds too slow, or 8 milliseconds too slow. What a fucking skill issue right there. My camera is still fine. To try and go ASAP so Del Falco doesn't show up. Okay, two fucking A, dude. I've never had a package for one. I wonder if that's even possible. Oh yeah, 80 milliseconds, whatever. Play Darkwood? I want to play Darkwood. Falco jump scare? We, we got it earlier. We're gonna get a jump scare here probably if we fucking make it in time to the second floor. Because this damn elevator is so fucking slow. Yeah, nightmare. Nightmare you die if you miss one package or you do one wrong report, which is gonna be... Goodness gracious. Oh god. 2A, right? Yes! Let's go! That's so good, dude. Nice. So we don't have to deal with this garbage uh, in the apartment. There's a jump scare. What? There's a jump scare when you sit at the table and Del Falco kills you? I mean, I want to see these jump scares, but <laughs> I also want to beat the game. We'll get one jump scare probably here. I don't know how if we're actually going to beat it. We're going to give it our best shot. There's going to be another threat. There's going to be breather in nightmare mode. But I'm assuming nightmare mode will be a few days away for sure, at least. Because he just started majorly working on it, right? Started working on 1.1. It was zero. Was it the zero two five or two four zero two four five two? Nope. It's changed. Mike Wazowski, thank you for the ten dollar donation. Neighbors really just have a boat horn and use it during their night. Yeah, they're fucked up. Okay. Two six seven two nine. What the fuck was that? Did you hear that? I don't know why I said at the computer. Fuck was that sound? I'm so <laughs> I'm so paranoid. I don't know if I'm just insane. Maybe I'm insane. Okay, there's a hack. Let's go. Um, I mean we got a, a few reports over, but we're nowhere near the quota destroyer that we need to be. Like, good God. You need to be so much more ahead. That report is good. We, we got the package. If only we got that package before. And how did we get so many before? No shadow. No shadow. We good though. Then it, like, if you can see those shadows, I already got this hack here. I got that phone already. It's crazy how short the timer is on some of these. No shadow. No shadow. Some of these, uh, packages that you need to deliver now. Any horror recommendation? This is a ghost forewarned as an access point. I've been playing recently. Devour. All seeing eye achievement reports something in every category. I wanted to save that for the next video because next video we're going to try and get all the achievements. But it's fine. We, we got it early. 
We're gamers. Wait, how was... Wait. What? We already reported an access point. What? We already reported an access point, though, right? Why did it... Do they mean report uh, an anomaly on every camera? Instead of every category? I think, I think they... I think it's a miss... I think the, the achievement is wrong. <laughs> I think it means every camera. Because I definitely have had reported in every category many times before. Or X Wait. Oh, access point was last. Okay, never mind. I guess that was last game when we died. It, that's the thing. Sometimes these games start to bleed together in your brain. I, I think you might be right. So it, it was just every category then? This uh still the same. There's a suspicious dudo. Okay, we got five over. That's pretty good. Actually, I didn't realize we were stacking them up so fast. We still need to survive quite a long time though before we get anywhere. Do 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 do. Oh boy. That reporter will do. Let's go. Ah! He lived, bitch. Turn that off. This is where having no shadows is real nice, so you can hide better. Okay, let's see. This should be faster now because we have an extra light off. The beam of death. Better number five. We already got that one, yeah. No, any hum horror games with the jump scares that I liked. I think a bite at Freddy's was really good. Um, it's free, I think, as well. You can just get it on itch.io. I mean, it depends on what kind of games you like. Sometimes... Is it already gone? Good insane. Uh, <laughs> My brother in Christ, he was gone. <laughs> I got faked, dude. All righty. <laughs> dude, I got faked out there. I should just not turn on my flashlight. Okay, I was like, oh, that was pretty fast. All right, anyway. So, to summarize the video, I died there, but we've already been the normal mode twice before, and we're, we have learned a lot that's going to be extremely useful for Nightmare Mode, which we will be doing. I see that hundreds of people have been asking it in the YouTube live chat. We will be beating Nightmare Mode as soon as it comes out, but... Um, we don't know when that will be. I'm assuming it'll be like somewhere like six days or a week from now, something like that. So then we'll be playing it as soon as it arrives. But anyway, uh, so to summarize, how to avoid Del Taco, you need to flick away from the camera that he's on within 0.75 seconds, and then he will not attack you. However, that will not prevent him for the rest of eternity. He will come back. Uh, so you will have to keep like being extremely ready to flick away within like less than a second for the rest of the run So I don't know you can try it at least like it's worth a try obviously if you can avoid it But uh, I wouldn't sweat it too much if you spawn him because it's gonna happen eventually anyway But at least we solved the secret of Del Falco uh, And we learned that you got to be a little bit more careful with Lucas and this laser because sometimes it doesn't show up for a while And then he fucking blasts you in the face. So yeah, uh, the video next next video I want to try and do casual mode where we beat the rest or where we get the rest of the achievements And then the only achievement remaining is gonna be the god gamer achievement aka beating nightmare mode which we will be doing as soon as that releases. But anyway, thank you so much for watching over on YouTube. I hope you enjoyed. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. And if you want to join the lovely gamers here in chat, you can join us over at twitch.tv slash or click the link in the description down below. Thank you so much. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye.